condemn none if you can stretch out your helping hand do so if you cannot fold your hands bless your brothers and let them go their own way Swami Vivekanand born on 12th January 1863 in Kolkata India was an just a monk He was a dynamic force that brought eastern philosophy to the western world. As a young seeker, Vivekananda was drawn to the teachings of his guru Sri Ramakrishna Paramhansa, who emphasized the universality of all religions and the direct experience of God. This profound influence laid the foundation for Vivekananda's later mission to bridge the east and the west by disseminating Vedantic principles. In 1893 at the Parliament of World's Religions in Chicago Vivekanand delivered his historic speech that marked his entry onto the world stage His opening words Sisters and Brothers of America resonated deeply capturing the attention and admiration of the audience Vivekanand spoke eloquently about the unity of religions emphasizing the essential oneness of humanity His address not only showcased his mastery of Vedant but also conveyed a message of tolerance, acceptance and the need of interfaith harmony. These aspects of Vedant are deeply rooted in our Indian culture and heritage which today's generation is slowly coming to understand and accept. Today the youth have realized how these aspects are relatable and should be understood by all for the betterment of our society as a whole. Now coming back to Swami Vivekananda's life following the success of his Chicago address Vivekananda spent nearly 3 years traveling across the United States and Europe spreading the message of Vedant and the spiritual heritage of India He lectured at various universities and forums engaging with scholars students and general public Upon returning to India in 1897, Swami Vivekanand founded the Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission, dedicated to the twin ideals of spiritual realization and selfless service. The mission aimed to uplift the masses by addressing their physical, mental, and spiritual needs. His impact extended beyond the realms of philosophy and spirituality. He was a social reformer who advocated for the eradication of caste discrimination, the upliftment of women and the promotion of education for all. Vivekananda's life was relatively short. He passed away on July 4, 1902 at the age of 39. However, his legacy endures through the Ramakrishna Mission's continued service activities, the dissemination of his writings and lectures, and the countless individuals who draw inspiration from his teachings. Swami Vivekananda's vision for the youth was rooted in empowering them to realize their potential, fostering a sense of responsibility, and inspiring them to contribute positively to the society. Keeping this in mind, National Youth Day is observed annually on January 12th, marking the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekanand, who was not only a spiritual luminary but also a great advocate for the youth. Today's youth can draw inspiration from Swami Vivekananda's teaching by cultivating self-confidence, serving others with compassion, embracing diversity, prioritizing education and knowledge, fostering courage and resilience, nurturing mindfulness and spiritual growth, and advocating for social justice and equality. Arise, awake and stop not until the goal is reached. With Vivekananda's words, let's end this video with a message for the youth that one should raise their inner potential and should not be afraid of all the difficulties that they might face and persistently pursue their aspirations until they achieve their desired success. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crew for more such videos and never let your curiosity die. 